Yo, what is going on guys and girls, James from Twintendo here, hope you're having an awesome day, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the roles of the starters, and, you know, what their role is in this game, because every single Mystery Dungeon game has kind of had a different, kind of, job for you to do, so in Blue and Red Rescue Team, you were obviously rescuing people, because you were a rescue team, in Explorers of Time and Darkness, you were explorers, you know, you're looking for treasure for the guild, and Gates to Infinity, well, I actually haven't played Gates to Infinity, but from what I've seen, it looks like you kind of like an exploration team and also like an investigation team, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, but anyway, guys, before we get into the video, common question of the day, because I have started that recently. What is your favourite Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game and why? There's no wrong or right answer here, guys. If you like Gates to Infinity, I've got no problem with that. If you don't like Explorers of Time and Darkness, again, no problem with that. If your favourite one is the Japanese WiiWare Mystery Dungeon games, again, no problem with that, there's nothing wrong. So yeah, definitely comment down below if you've got some say in that. And yeah, let's jump into the video. So first of all, let's just talk about the backstory of the game and try and get some facts together. So first of all, your partner's aim is to make a world map of the water continent. Now you probably don't know what I mean about the water continent. This was actually revealed like yesterday or, yeah, I think it was yesterday, yeah, when the brand new screenshots came out yesterday. They showed, the, you know, the big map. It's actually loads of clouds around it. If you haven't seen that video I did yesterday, definitely check that out. It's loads of new information. But basically the water continent shows the map in the middle, what's region in the middle of the map, and you know clouds surrounding it. And we know red and blue's region is on the right hand side. But basically the map itself is called the water continent just because it's quite a big area of water and they don't know that there's actually land, you know, where those clouds are hidden, so I guess they just think they're surrounded by water, which they're actually not. So yeah, it's called the water continent be very interesting to see what happens with that in the future and it's obviously that it's a mystery dungeon game you're gonna help Pokemon along the way so you're gonna be doing a bit of rescuing so are we gonna be rescuers well I'll tell you guys in a little bit so basically this is what I translated so it's gonna be a bit wishy-washy here and there because obviously they're gonna be using different words from the English translations and Japanese translations but I will tell you guys anyway so your team it's the organization that aims to solve the mysteries of the world. So that's what the Japanese translation says. So basically, you're investigating the mysteries of the water continent, you know, which we know the mysteries are why a Pokemon turned into stone. And it basically says you, so your partner and you, are the Pokemon investigation team, which, which has a nice ring to it, personally. You kind of like private detectives. And I do like that idea. And, you know, I thought, well, this kind of sounds right, because, yeah, you're going to be investigating why they're turning into stone, but... We haven't seen that in the English trailers because, in fact, it's actually called the Expedition Society, which, you know, we've had, like, expeditions in Explorers of Time and Darkness, so it kind of made me think, well, are we actually investigators or explorers? Is it just a translation error? But basically, I'll translate a few more things. Basically, it says the Pokemon from Serene Village will someday enter the Pokemon investigation team and leave the village. So, basically... We, we know there's a school now, and if you didn't, you definitely need to check my previous videos. But basically, there's a school. You learn, obviously, I guess, investigation skills, or ex expedition skills, I guess. And then when you probably graduate, you get those scarves, those blue and green scarves, because it seems to be when Lombre's talking to you about Pokemon turning into stone, you're wearing that scarf, and that's probably a sign of graduation from that, I guess, academy or school. So, you know, it probably you're probably going to graduate from that school quickly. So if you weren't a big fan of the guild in Explorers of Time and Darkness, I really wouldn't worry about the school. And basically, you know, the big question is, are you guys rescuers, explorers, or investigators? Because, you know, you're going to be rescuing Pokemon, you're going to be exploring dungeons, and, you know, there's expeditions which there were in Time and Darkness and Sky, and you're also going to be investigating, similar to Gates Infinity. So, which one is it? So, first of all, like I said, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky. There are expeditions as part of the guild, you know. I think there was one to, um, I think it was Fogbound Lake, the place with Uxie, and basically you kind of camp out for the night and then you go explore, and eventually you do meet Uxie and you get to see, like, this Volby and Illumi's light show, I guess. It was, to me, that is the memory I definitely remember the most from time, uh, Explorers of Time and Darkness. It was just such an amazing game. Yes, I'm going to be biased towards that game, so don't hate me for that. But anyway, I'll move on from that. Basically, in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, you know, like I said, you're going to be rescuing Pokemon. We know that because that's how you recruit Pokemon in this game. You have the Connection Orb, which I'm going to be making a video on later on. So don't worry if you're confused by that, because I will definitely be going into detail on that very soon. But yeah, like I said, you'll be rescuing Pokemon like you have in every single other Mystery Dungeon game. And, you know, that was kind of obviously from the first Mystery Dungeon game. 
blue and red rescue team you know it's in the title and that's carried over from every single mystery dungeon game so again that's not a surprise but it's not your primary objective in this game you know that's kind of obvious because we've been told so much information about why why pokemon turning into stone you know what is happening and obviously you know i disagree with both the fact that i don't think you're going to be explorers and i don't think you're going to be rescuers so i'd have to say you're going to be investigators even though it's not translated to that in the english translation it's just because you're told that you need to you know the pokemon are turning into stone so obviously you're going to be involved with that you're going to be thinking you're going to be looking into why this is happening and who's responsible we've had so much information that you're going to be working with other pokemon to find out why this is happening and you know like i said it hasn't been translated to this but you know expedition society and investigation team is very similar and to be honest, like I said, I personally think it's going to be the investigation team and I'm really excited for that because that, yeah, like it is, it's similar to Gates of Infinity, but I feel like this is definitely more, it's, it's more set, like Gates of Infinity was kind of a mesh of different kind of uh, jobs, I guess, for the Pokemon, whereas this one is, it's definitely set, you're an investigation team, you know, you may have to save people on the side, but your main job is to investigate, not explore, because you're not looking for treasure for the guild, and yeah. Anyway guys, that's just my opinion, but if you disagree, definitely comment down below what you think, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. So if you haven't seen our two previous videos, guys, they'll be on screen. On the left is brand new screenshots of Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, really, really cool ones, and some so much stuff. You get to see Primal Groudon, Mega Rayquaza, so much. And on the right hand side, guys, you get to see the school being talked about in more detail on Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Again, another really cool video. I didn't really talk about it too much in a brand new screenshot video, just because... You know, I talked about it in that video, even though there were quite a few new screenshots of the school. And guys, if you haven't subscribed already and you've enjoyed this, definitely hit that big red button where Mudkip is. And if you just love Mudkip, just click that subscribe button. It makes them really happy. It makes me happy. And yeah, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon video. Peace.